Hello everyone, welcome to Nature Shalom. In this week's video, we are going to take a look at a place which is very famous for the one-horned rhinoceros. And I guess that is enough friend for all of you to get the idea of what place I am talking about. Yes, it's the Kaziranga National Park. And stay with us till the end of the video because we have got this exciting announcement for you all which would help you make your next year even more fun. Kaziranga has always been famous for its rhinos and tigers. The records of this place date back to almost 17th century. Historians believe that the name Kaziranga is related to the name Kirby, the woman who once ruled this region. Back in 19th century, the hunting was carried out on a very massive scale at Kaziranga. Almost every day around 30 buffaloes, 20 deers, around dozens of hogs besides one or two tigers and rhinos were hunted. The hunting was so massive that almost every day before breakfast the people used to hunt or the soldiers they used to hunt around one to two rhinos. Hunting was leading to massive reduction of the population of rhinos and all the other wildlife that was present over there. It was in the year 1904 when the wife of Professor of India, Lord Curzon, visited Kaziranga to see rhinos. She was expecting uh, to see a lot of rhinos because Kaziranga was famous for the population of rhinos. She roamed around Kaziranga for almost one whole day, but she couldn't even find a single rhino. So this uh, surprised and also disappointed her. And after her interaction with the very famous wildlife tracker Balaram Hazareka, she was convinced about the conservation efforts that were needed to be taken in order to conserve the rhinos. Later, a proposal was made to convert Kaziranga into a forest reserve. But lots of objections were raised by the tea plantation companies of Europe and many locals too because they were afraid of losing their grazing grounds and even the fishing areas. But finally, in the uh, year 1905, on 1st of June, an area of 232 square kilometer was declared as a forest reserve. Many years later, a proposal was made by the chief conservator of forest, P. Barua, to convert Kaziranga into a national park. So the Assam National Park Act of 1968 was passed by the government as there was no provision to create national park uh, in the existing forest regulations. And on 11th February 1974, an area of 429 uh, square kilometer was declared as a national park. Aziranga is one of the last areas in the eastern India which is still undisturbed by human presence. It is considered as one of the finest wildlife refuge around the world. Kaziranga is also home to the largest population of one-horned rhinoceros, including tigers, elephants, bears, leopards and even thousands of birds. It is also a junction for the Australasia and Indo-Asian flyways. So these are the paths taken by the migratory birds during their migration. So the wetlands of Kaziranga play a very crucial role as a resting place for the thousands of migratory birds, some of which are even globally threatened. And so in the year 1985, UNESCO declared Kaziranga as the World Natural Heritage Site. In the early 21st century, Kaziranga also recorded highest tiger density in India. And later it was declared as the Tiger Reserve in the year 2007. Now, as you can see that this place uh, is full of diversity and it has so much ecological importance. So doesn't it make you feel like going to this place and experiencing the serenity firsthand? Here's the big announcement for you. You can experience the amazing Kaziranga with the Indian Wild Ventures. They organize different tours to different forests of India throughout the year. And they are organizing the tour to Kaziranga in the month of February. Best thing about Indian Wild Ventures is that there is always a local guide present with you along with the other experts. So this helps you get a better understanding of the place that you are visiting. For more details of the tour, you can take a look at the description below. Talking about the biodiversity of Kaziranga. Kaziranga is home to 35 mammal species, out of which around 15 are IUCN red listed. There are almost 479 bird species recorded, both migratory and residents, and out of which almost 25 are considered as globally threatened. And you can also see 
around 42 species of reptiles in Kaziranga. The census which was conducted in the year 2006 recorded 1855 individuals of Indian one-horned rhino which is 70% of the world's population of rhinos which is living in wild. Apart from that, you can also see very large variety of free-roaming primates in Kaziranga and it also is home to the only ape that is found in India, that is the Hulog Gibbon. That was it for today's video. If you liked the video, press the like button and share this video with all your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. And also till then, take care of yourselves, stay home and stay safe.